Hey everybody, I'm back again. I got a couple boxes here from my friend Nick who texted me and said, hey, I got something cool that you should do a product spotlight on. So I went down to the depot and picked up these boxes from him. Let's go over to the workbench and take a look. All right, so here's what we're looking at today. I have two Rapido 53-foot Husky Stack well cars with 53-foot high cube containers. These were originally announced back in 2016, and they finally came out pretty recently. Each well car comes with two 53-foot high cube containers, and the retail price on these is $49.95. According to the Rapido website, they're packaged with random containers. Now, something else that's worth mentioning is that the containers are also being offered as two packs for $24.95. For the pink well car that I just revealed with the Rapido containers, which by the way, these are kind of cool containers. They're refrigerated containers. You can see the refrigeration units on the ends here but I wanted to mention that something really cool about this is that Rapido is giving ten dollars from the sale of each one of these models to the Princess Margaret Cancer Foundation in support of the psychosocial oncology clinic there. That's a really cool thing that Rapido doesn't have to do but they are so hats off to Rapido for that. I set the pink well car aside for just a minute so that we can take a closer look here at the yellow one. And one of the first things I noticed when I took this out of the box, and this goes for both the yellow and the pink, is how heavy it is. This well car is made with a die cast body. So not only does that make it heavier, but that also makes it stronger. I scrutinized all the printing on the side of this car and even the smallest lettering in these areas here and in these areas over here they're all legible so the the paint job on this thing is just fantastic and we're going to look at the a and b ends on this car because the b end has an individually applied brake wheel with chain detail and there's a combination of walkways here. Some of them are photo etched and some of them are plastic, but they all look really good. Looking at the A end now, I wanted to show you this because it has a lot of brake detail here with the piping and the air reservoir. Very cool. This is a McDonald Cartier coupler. So it's a metal coupler. So there isn't a whole lot to look at on the underside of this model, but I did want to point out that these are 70 ton trucks. And you can see that there are three springs visible in here, if you look real carefully. It's hard to see because they're molded black, but you know, if you get a little dry brush and put a lighter color on there, it'll make that detail pop really well. And since it's in the picture, you can also try to see how legible all the writing is all that tiny printing up there. They've done a really great job. I'm always impressed with the paint jobs and printing on models like this because the writing is so small that you don't think it's going to be legible. Then you put your magnifier on and it's just remarkable how good they're getting at printing small stuff like that. One other thing that's kind of cool about this is that these are metal 33 inch scale wheels and they have separate inline brake shoes. And again, I don't know how easy it is to tell because everything's black, but that is a detail that's worth noting. Okay, so I've switched out to the pink one now, and we're going to work our way backwards. And I will say, you know, same truck detail, 70 ton trucks, 33 inch metal wheels. You can see from here, it's the same couplers, same brake wheel detail. All that stuff is the same. The paint job is a little different. And just with the yellow one, I've scrutinized this paint job as well. And it's also flawless. So looking again, separately applied brake wheel. And it's like I said before, it's a combination of photo etched and plastic walkways here. Just like the yellow one, we have our air reservoir with all the piping there. 
Very nicely done. Something else that's kind of cool here, and it's sort of hard to see. Not sure how well it shows up on camera here, but there are conspicuity stripes here all along the side. So we'll take a quick look at the 53 foot high cube containers as well. They mentioned on the website that these are picked randomly. So you might want to, if you have a chance, look at the boxes and if you have a particular container that you really want, you know, you might have to search for it in the boxes at the store. Otherwise, you can probably order them from Rapido's website and get the ones that you want and just have some extras for your intermodal facility. But just like with the cars, I've scrutinized the paint jobs and the printing on these well cars, and it's perfection. I mean, there's nothing going on here that you wouldn't expect from a Rapido model. It's just outstanding. All the end details on these containers are molded, but they're painted in a way that really makes them pop. And everything, even in this tiniest writing on this warning for the right turn, it's all legible. And I have to say, even though the end details are all molded, they almost look like separately applied parts because of the paint treatment. And finally, we're going to take a look here at the Rapido Custom containers. Now, I'm sure these are foobies. I don't think Rapido has any containers wandering around out there on the rails. But these come with the pink car. And they're actually refrigerated containers. You can see the refrigeration units here on the ends, which we'll take a closer look at here in a second. But again, just like with the other containers, scrutinize these. The paint's flawless. The striping and everything is very crisp and even, and I don't think they could have been done any better. So we're looking at the refrigeration units now. They're separately applied parts, apparently. And, well, if they aren't, they sure look like it. Look at the logos on these. The logos actually are pretty small on these things, but they look great. And one has to wonder what those wacky guys from Rapido would be shipping in refrigerated containers. So I'm pretty sure trains don't need to be refrigerated, although their trains are pretty cool. And then, of course, the ends. We have door details that are molded, but again, the paint treatment makes these look almost like separately applied latches and hinges and all that stuff. They look really great, and... I was almost expecting, I, I read all the, the writing and everything, and I was expecting for some kind of an inside joke because they're known to do that kind of thing. And I maybe I just missed it, but I didn't see anything that was inherently funny or secretly funny. So as you can see, these are very strong releases from Rapido. I've been wanting to see Rapido do well cars because there are a lot of well cars out there and Rapido has a way of making things really well. And these are not a disappointment in that regard. Something else that I think is really cool is the fact that they're including two containers in a car, basically that's 50 bucks. So since the containers retail for $24.95, that means you're basically getting a car for 25 bucks. And a car with this kind of detail and you know, the fact that it's die cast, so it weighs a lot, that's a pretty good bargain. So I'm looking forward to seeing more stuff like this from Rapido. I also think that it's really cool that they're donating a portion of the proceeds from the pink cars to a very worthy cause. So good job, Rapido. I'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>